Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to talk about in this video is LLDP and LLDP med, mead, or MED, however you want to pronounce it. So uh, we're going to be talking a lot about LLDP with our grand stream switch and with all of our upcoming videos. So I wanted to kind of revisit that. And uh, I got my note cards so I don't forget anything. But if I do forget anything, let me know down in the comments. So I just made some notes and we're going to go over them here. And I tried to break this down uh, simply uh, to make it a little easier to understand. Uh, hopefully I didn't make it as clear as mud, but let's get to it, right? So LLDP stands for Link Layer Discovery Protocol. And it is a standard protocol that most vendors recognize and implement that enables devices to advertise information about themselves and other devices on the same network. So we can advertise, advertise things like um, uh, interface names, interface statuses. We can uh, push device names um, and capabilities. LLDP MED, MED or MED, however you want to pronounce that. Uh, the MED stands for Media Endpoint Discovery, and it is specific. Uh, it is a specific extension for voice and voice over IP. So it includes additional information such as the voice VLAN ID, network policies, and PoE settings. So um, how that kind of works and how you'll see it once we get it deployed is in a VoIP network or voice over IP network, when an IP phone is connected, the switch will send an LLDP med message to discover the phone's capabilities and requirements, including the voice VLAN ID. The phone responds with its LLDP med uh, information and the switch will then auto configure uh, the port and the phone to be on the correct voice VLAN. Uh, this means that we can deploy a lot of voice devices very quickly at, you know, at scale, like large amounts of these when the network is configured correctly without ever touching them, right? So we don't have to touch each device to go ahead and, um, and deploy them. So if the network's configured correctly and you've got 500 phones and you've got 500 switch ports and they need to be on the specific voice network, if the voice uh, network and LLDP uh, med is configured correctly, you plug them in, they're going to end up on the proper VLAN with their pass-through port configured correctly. Um, LLDP and LLDP just, you know, they're protocols that help devices communicate their capabilities and communicate with each other more effectively. And you can also do some really cool things like network monitoring and things like that using LLDP. I think that covered it. I want you to know that some of the, the network manufacturers, such as Ubiquity, uh, like when you look at their LLDP setup, it's very simple. Some manufacturers take it and really expand it. And that's what you're going to see when we get into Grandstream and some other switch manufacturers is that they really let you drill down and do network policies and all these things within LLDP and LLDP Med. So that's coming up. But I wanted you to have a general idea of what LLDP, LLDP Med is. If you have questions about it, I'll try to answer them in the comments below. So let me know down below. Hopefully this cleared that up a little bit. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with our affiliate links if you'd like to support the channel and our Patreon link. And as always, if you need IT consulting, as such as you know, you're having problems getting your LLDP and your voice VLANs to work properly, reach out over at willyhow.com. Click hire us or contact us. Fill that form out and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.